Okay, so um, the way this works is the first five cards, the first row is going to be your love life. The second row is going to be more general, uh, more of a general reading that deals with other sectors of your life. And then whatever comes up, I'll just relay the information. But uh, let's talk about the first five cards first. Um, in your love life, we have here the Ace of Pentacles. This is a really, really good card, um, even if it's in the reverse position, because it basically... Um, means opportunities coming in from the universe okay this is an opportunity to build with another person this is more like less about ideas and speculations and daydream this is about concrete plans concrete actions in order to build a relationship and this is a relationship that will withstand the test of time so it's like moving in together, taking the relationship to the next level, getting married, settling down, growing old together. And when it's this card and um, it's right next to the page of pentacles, you might be making the offer to another person or the other person might be offering to you. And I feel as if if you are dealing with a, an earth sign, so this is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, um, it ba sun, moon, or rising, it basically means that you're putting in a lot of the effort. You're putting in a lot of the work in order to make this a reality for the other person. The Page of Pentacles energy in the reverse position is also a card about studying, being a student, learning things from the ground up, or learning skills, okay? Building your skills. When it's in the reverse, I feel like there is a big opportunity coming in uh, when it comes to love and you're not really sure you're ready for the challenge you're not really sure if you're at this point in your life am I ready for the full responsibilities or the weight of this relationship so many of you you have to undergo drastic lifestyle changes in order to accommodate this many of you might have to curtail your studies you might even be, you know, changing the direction of your studies in order to cater to this relationship. So it's like whatever it is, it's it's a uh, emotional demands, okay? And it's not so much coming in from the partner, but it's more like, okay, it's time to get real. Let's talk about plans. Let's talk about things that are concrete. Remember all those promises that we made? Now it's time to call on those promises and to make these things a reality. And I feel like it's going to come in a very unexpected way, okay? Um, for many of you who are in relationships, okay? The Nine of Swords deals heavily with surgery. It deals with back pain. It deals with somebody not being able to sleep through the night, having to, um, whatever they're dealing with. If it's an air sign, even Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, somebody is not feeling at their best, and you're going to need to step up to be kind of like their knight in shining armor in order to rectify the situation. I see somebody who's like dealing with body aches and pain, and they're not able to take care of themselves, or they need that extra assistance from you. And I feel as if you're going to do it in a, you know, very... Um, it's like knight in shining armor. This is somebody that rushes in and takes care of people's problems. So you're going to be the fixer in this person's life. And I feel like it's building a very, very good foundation for a relationship. Just make sure things are not codependent, okay? For those of you who are dating, I feel like you have a major, major solid option that's coming through. We have an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we also have here a fire sign. So Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is the one that I feel is a much better relationship partner. They're serious. They want to build. They want to create a family. This is a family card. Institution, stability, marriage, home, you know, um, children. Um, they, they have a lot of respect for tradition. And I also feel like even though their energy is fire, they're very grounded and very dependable. So if you're choosing between two signs... The earth signs might not be completely ready, might not be on your, um, might not be as serious as you are about this relationship. So you only have one pentacles and you're trying to decide who do I give it to. I feel like if you have a fire sign in your midst that you're dating and you're 
choosing between two people, this might be a better option for you, okay? Um, there's some guilt here, I'm sensing. There's some guilt, so I don't know if you're juggling two people and then you're racked with guilt. The person that forgives you, the person that tells you, you know, don't be so hard on yourself, and the person that offers forgiveness, that is the person that's right for you, okay? If that's any indicator, if that's like a special message for anybody out there, I feel like that will show you the way as to who's the right person to invest in. Um, in your general reading, what I have here is an air sign. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This is somebody who's very no-nonsense, who's like, you know, air signs, um, this seems to me like somebody who's like very no-nonsense, very fixed, okay? Uh, by fixed, I mean possibly an Aquarius, okay? It could be as well a Taurus, an Aquarius, a Leo, or a Scorpio. Somebody who knows what they want. They don't really want to waste time. They don't have a lot of time. There's a lot of communication between you and this person in regards to meeting up, seeing each other, um, meeting with... Um, it's like somebody that you know from your past. It could as well be somebody that you've dated. It could be somebody that you just know. And they're not part of the love reading. So I feel like it's somebody who is a professional acquaintance, who is a family member. You're staging some type of a coming together with a bunch of people where everyone gets to have fun, where everyone gets to travel, where everyone gets to have a really good time. And so I feel like they're asking you to step up and this is your energy here, Cancers. Um, with the Page of Cups, this is like a playful, you know, um, it's, it's a very laid back, easygoing, playful type of an energy. And it denotes to me that this person might have some ulterior, like they, they might want you to do certain things. If you're flirting with this person, they might have... Um, mixed feelings about you. They might have ulterior motives or they might want to rekindle things. If you're talking to somebody from your past even, once again, be very, very clear with your communication and don't send mixed messages. If you are looking at this person from a purely friendship perspective, you need to, you know, convey that, okay, so that lines are not blurred. So I feel like somebody is making some type of a, giving you like demands or telling you to step up or telling you to do this and do that. And you're just like very easygoing. But what they're doing is that they're trying to get things in order. They don't have a lot of time. They're very busy and they're trying to move things along. And I feel like the communication could be very exasperating between you and this person. So if they're stressed out, you can, you know, just tell them. Um, so I, I feel like somebody is saying, we need to take care of this, we need to take care of this. And you're just like taking your sweet time. And I feel like you're not updating on what's happening, updating them on what's happening. And they're getting frustrated. If you're dealing with somebody like that, either at work or even friends or even family, um, they might, you know... Uh, cut you out or they might say some hurtful things. So it's very important to communicate based on the other person's uh, needs, okay? So it, it's sort of like don't tell them not to worry when they're worried. Tell them instead, is there anything I can help you with, okay? And if you're dealing with this type of energy, you know, they're, they're fixated on getting results. They're very results-oriented. So if they're concerned about something and you tell them, oh, don't worry, everything will fall into place. No, that's not a good solution. So I feel like um, just make sure the communication is open and honest, okay? So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, let me see if there is any messages for you additional. Some of you are also planning to travel, making big plans, okay? Having a lot of big plans with other people, but you're feeling almost as if you need a little bit more time to plan things out and to, to plan things 
so that they can fall into place and to kind of mesh up with you professionally. Someone is asking you, you know, let's go here, let's go there, let's travel, come and see me. You want to, you're very excited about it, but the timing is not right, mainly because of finances. And financial uh, considerations are always important when I do like readings for, um, uh, for you guys, for cancers. And it's been like this for like a year and a half. And so get your finances in order. This is communication that's not going to go away. However, once you commit to something, I feel like, you know, you're going to follow through with it. So don't leave this person in the dark. Tell them the truth. Just tell them, you know, I can't really uh, make any solid plans yet because of my financial situation. And then go from there. Okay, so honesty is always the best policy. If you're dealing with this person who's kind of like yes or no, black or white, uh, now or tomorrow, like they're very, very fixated on results and they're very fixated on clarity. And so it would be in your best interest to just update them on what's going on with you, why you can't do it, why you can't make it, why uh, you're not really budging so that they have an idea as to, you know, where you're at, okay? Because I feel like you're dealing with a planner and... Um, the more, you know, with, with cancers, what's really funny is the more people push you, the more you retreat. And I, I, I don't understand why that is. The more people push you, the more you retreat. And it's really important for you when people push you, it's because you're retreating. So they feel like they need to step forward. They need to be more intense in order to get an, um, in order to get an answer from you but the more they push the more you retreat and so it's really good overall for this month or this week if they're pushing and you can't give them a yes or no give them an explanation and I feel like that's really gonna solve all of your communication issues it's gonna really solve a lot of your problems okay if they're pushing and you you don't have a yes or a no you tell them I can't give you a yes or no and here's the reason. Give them a reason. Once you give them a reason, they'll be like, okay, that makes sense. Um, so let's talk about this at a later date. And that's going to be like a huge burden uh, off of your shoulders, okay? So don't do the retreating game. You need to be very direct. Otherwise, the other person's just going to get really upset, okay? So I hope the reading has been helpful for you guys, Cancers. Um, I wish you the best.